double time! You with the Xeno unit? You're heading to command. Far end of the compound. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. You must have really shined out on... Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I'm... No need for introductions, Major Sinan. Dr. Walker, your reputation precedes you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sinan's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, We'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Terramorphs, and plenty of them. Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Assisi's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city.
Okay. Well, I've had that effect on people before. you're going out there willingly. Damn. Looking for something? Let's see if I have... Okay. Can't chat right now. You match our description. The Vanguard captain? The cabinet wanted you to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand.
All set on your gear? You... Are you ready to do this? Then, let's get this sh Geyser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Geyser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Geyser, kick it off. Unlock codes transmitted. You may open the gate when ready. All right. On our way into the city. Percival, where are we heading? <laughs> Running the first sweep. Got one. A Sealy's. Not far. Old shipping yard just past the processing plant. Gene samples are probably in one of the containers.
That was fast.
Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. And we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. A real marvel. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? My god, look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only. What's... What's happening? Captain, have you seen this? Leeches are Terramorphs. So, by consuming the Lazarus plant, they metamorphose into Terramorphs? Fascinating. And also terrifying, obviously. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a Terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby Terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... We just found out how Terramorphs move between planets. Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a Terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have... set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing, get after it! We may proceed. Go! Protocols active. 
objective. on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. Oh boy. So we're talking a whole new extra scary kind of weapon here, aren't we? Deploying alien life forms isn't exactly new, but I've never heard of one that could pull off something like this. It makes some sense, actually. Tau Seti was likely their first test, someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser? Get us into the spaceport? The entrance is this way.
control panel. Still looks operable. Of all the things to survive. this place killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all he saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away he killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... A pawn with no ethics, no compassion, no humanity. And the UC kept this monster on purpose. Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? And there's no one he's in contact with that could help him on the outside? He got a hold? Can't really expect to keep a wolf on a leash. But I guess we're not getting any more answers right now. 
calls, I guess. Get your baggie ready. Don't even scar. That sound. What is that? I think. Now some kind of signal. Raiders lighting up. I think you're due for some company. Hand it over. Pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. 
Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victors knew about That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain. Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him. Whatever you can turn up is more than we have. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the Cabinet Chambers. They're gonna want to know everything. Best of luck, Captain. Best of luck on your fact-finding mission. I 
discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. I removed the dangerous variable from an already cat. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser. And cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us, and we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's... Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard. With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. I'm simply looking for you to... And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or... So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same. Hunting down criminals and other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free range once you would help me, like you did with Orlais. Track them down. Impossible, though. If the Cabinet learns, I'm... <sighs> well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squ- Hey, you might want this.
Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew... Why? Did he say why he did it? <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. He wanted his family's name to be respected again, so he decided to double down on being a monster. What a brilliant strategy. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about... So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left, unless there was more to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet wait. Microbe is gonna make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again... The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant. And then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to... You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, but if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lean. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Have 
Let's help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vey Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency. But I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. I'm not sure I like what you're suggesting. The UC's own, though. I won't discount that perhaps your proposal could get us closer to that goal, so... Explain to me your thinking in destroying the plant. So long as total eradication can be independently confirmed. Can't risk somebody taking home a cute little souvenir that then destroys humanity down the road. And once Ve Victus has been dealt with, this problem can end here. And allow us to focus on the grander task to come. Very well. We'll clean up the plant. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes. Don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of... Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Here goes nothing. Just some of the most advanced microbiological research humanity's ever deployed. Hardly nothing. Order, please. And Major Sanan? 
Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Exploring the galaxy is hard work. Trust me, I know. Stop by sometime and let's talk. Just us adventurers, okay?